Hi, my name is Joe Blay. I'm a mentor and I'm a teacher uh, here at Stifles. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years now, and it all got started in 2006 when I was a freshman, and my brother told me that I had to do this, I had to join Stifles. And I wasn't really into robotics, I wasn't really into engineering, but I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I came in a little bit, and honestly, I didn't like it. I didn't. Uh, have a lot to do so I didn't come in that often and the same thing was true the next year but when we made it to champs uh, my parents urged me to go they said we'll pay for the tickets I'm like okay I'll go to Atlanta for free no problem um, so we were in Atlanta and we stuck like we did nothing our robot was terrible but somehow we kept on winning these matches and it looked like we might see it in the top eight uh, so the night before our uh, last day of competition, no, our second last day of competition, Sammy, the leader of the team said, all right guys, we need to put together a strategy team. I didn't know what that was, but it sounded pretty cool. So I turned to my best friend, Jay Walker, who's sitting right next to me, and I said, let's do this. And he's the type of guy who, no matter what, he'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll give him a try. Uh, so I turned to him and said, let's do this, let's run this strategy team. Uh, so he, of course he said okay, and we raised our hands, we said okay, we'll do it. No one else stepped up, so we did it, and uh, we, we didn't have scouting sheets, so we took blank pieces of paper and wrote them by hand, creating charts for people to fill out. Um, we'd never really put ourselves out there or talked to anyone before, but here we were on the floor of the Georgia Dome, talking to people. Uh, that we've admired from a distance that we're running FRC teams around the globe, some of the best teams in the world, planning for matches, building a pick list. When it was all said and done, we didn't make eliminations. We, did, we weren't an alliance captain, we didn't get picked. But that experience was so incredible that it sucked me into FRC. And the next year, I was the most active member of the team. The year after that, I drove the robot. The year after that, I was a mentor. The year after that, I was a coach. The year after that, I started to become a teacher because I love this stuff so much. And now here I am, it's been 13 years, I'm a teacher on the team, I'm a mentor on the team, I'm the drive coach on the team, and I'm here all hours of the night because of that one crazy experience where I was with my best friend making handwritten scouting sheets. That's my story.